Yo, what is going on everybody? Llama here, and we are back now with some MLB 16 the show. We're gonna start off a franchise game, as you can see, or a franchise series rather. So looking through all the teams, and real quick, I like the new interface on the menus, except for the uh, little like circle graph here. I think it's kinda ugly um, for choosing teams and overalls, but everything else I think it looks uh really cool, all the new like interfaces and stuff. So I'm gonna use the pirates because they are my uh my hometown team and I didn't know who else to use so there's always like really good rosters that come out about a month or two after this game probably two months after this game is released which is um operation sports something it's guys who uh get the names of every minor leaguer from triple a down to single a so it's 100 percent correct roster since this game um just kind of makes random uh names up for a lot of the minor league players it has all the pros but due to uh like licensing and stuff like that they can't get the minor league dudes names um so yeah, these people put correct rosters out, so I'll probably do another team once those are out, but I want to play through with uh, a few seasons of the Pirates here, so looking at their roster, we need a shortstop. Um, actually, yeah, I think we do need a shortstop, for some reason, Young Ho Kong is playing, uh, I think, third base? I didn't look, I know I just had it up, but I think he's in second or third. Um, David Freeze we have, but his overall sucks, so our, uh, backup short, or our regular shortstop, Jordy Mer Mercer, is actually better to play him and bench Freeze, and then need a first baseman and we need um, some more pitching so I think you could see Vogel's song was like a 75 he's our number five guy in the rotation so I'd like to get a pitcher who has like a 79 or 80 overall would be cool look through the free agency there really wasn't crap out so um, I signed Tim Lincecum to a one-year deal for like three and a half million which I thought try him out in the bullpen see if his stats go up a little bit I think he's like a 73 74 overall in this game so I'm going to start things off here, opening day against the St. Louis Cardinals, as you can see. Bottom of the first, Adam Wainwright versus Garrett Cole. Great pitching matchup going on here. They are going to walk Andrew McCutcheon with two outs, so that'll bring up um, Francisco Cervelli, who had a monster year for the Pirates last season. Nice little uh, resurgence year for him. So he is going to get a base hit into left field there as that one drops in in front of Holiday. So Pirates have two guys on, two outs, one, two is a count. Gregory Polanco is at the plate, who is actually supposed to be at second for us, but I switched him with Kong up just because uh, Kong had a better average. So I was like, we'll uh, move him up and leave uh, Polanco down a little bit lower. So Polanco grounds out there, so that's going to strand two base runners. Uh, pick things up, bottom of the second. 1-1 one, one is the count to the pitcher, Garrett Cole, two outs, one runner on, and that is just going to drop into center field. So a nice little base hit for Garrett Cole, something really don't see too much as pitchers getting hits, but uh, Cole's a pretty solid pitcher, or um, hitter for a pitcher. See if I can stumble over my words some more. I think he hit um, like 200-ish last year, which is really good for a pitcher. I mean, he doesn't have that many plate appearances, obviously, but still pretty solid. So Starling Marte is up next. Swing and miss at a high cut fastball um, above the strike zone, which those always fool me, and I always chase after pitches that are like 10 feet over my head. For whatever reason, I just struggle with those in this game. Uh, so pick things up later on in the game here so you can see Kong is going to double off the left field wall and there is going to be no throw so he is in there with a nice little stand up double score is still 0-0 zero, zero here as you can see he leads uh, things off in uh, the bottom of the third inning Andrew McCutcheon is up next with a 1-1 one, one count he was walked in his first plate appearance here is the throw from Rain Wainwright why am I stuttering so much I'm tired and I'm trying to put this video out because I haven't made a franchise one yet but I sound uh Sound half retorted in it, so uh, McCutcheon with a nice little two-run shot there in the bottom of the third. We'll get the scoring started early on in this game, so Pirates take a 2 nothing lead. There you can see 392 feet bomb for McCutcheon. He pretty much got all of that one, so it's going to let the video play out and talk about some uh, stuff about this game here. So I was trying to do some streaming from my PS4. I think I have two videos up playing Road to the Show. Audio kind of sucks for the... the first one sucks second one the audio is a little too loud the in-game audio but I'm gonna change and correct everything so what I will probably do is these franchise videos are gonna be all pre-recorded like this and cut down edited into like five to ten minute clips just because I don't have that much interesting stuff to talk about for 50 60 minutes for an entire franchise game and then um, the road to the show ones are probably gonna be all live streamed it's not gonna be every game because I play sometimes I don't feel like doing commentary but I will live stream a lot of the road to the show ones and then they will upload right to my YouTube channel um, after I uh, in the broadcast which is probably what I'm gonna do for the game probably gonna do some Diamond Dynasty too I really haven't messed around with it too much but broadcast that on YouTube and Twitch and like I said um, 
broadcast will auto publish after. So if you didn't see the last Root of the Shoe video, it only got like 30 views for some reason. I'm not sure why they're not get, getting any views, but um, it's on my channel if you want to check that out. Here you can see McCutcheon's up again. It was a 2-1 uh, score. He gets a nice little uh, solo shot for an insurance run. So 3-1 is the score now. And uh, yeah, like I said, I'm going to try to be consistent with these uploads. Try to get uh, 4 to 5 probably four franchise videos out a week probably and then a bunch of uh the um road to the show videos since those are so easy to do just because uh franchise ones take a while you're gonna play an hour game spend uh 20 30 minutes editing the video then doing commentary and uh yeah so be a little uh not put out as many as i want to i don't even know what i'm talking about here people this is like a six minute video i'm like about to pass out so uh yeah but this game is pretty awesome so far if you had uh, last year's version a lot of people don't know whether to upgrade or not i definitely think it is worth the 60 dollars to get the new version there is a lot of cool new features a lot of cool new camera angles in it too i love the new uh camera angle when you're batting it looks like if you ever played the 2k uh, mlb games the only good things they had in there was the camera angle which they kind of stole and put in this and then the pitching was cool in it how you use the right analog stick to like make uh little designs and stuff like if you wanted a cutter you pull it and then like circle it around and stuff that was cool but uh that would be the show have always been superior as you can tell since 2k kind of stopped making baseball games they finally uh gave up a few years ago but um so guys thanks for watching subscribe if you're new if you like the video uh leave a thumbs up too if you can do that i guess it helps me out a little bit not really since i'm not getting hundreds of views video but if you want to throw a thumb